Connor bought a toaster for himself on eBay. Connor, what kind of toaster is this? It's a model 1-A-1 Toastmaster. 1-A-1 Toastmaster. From what year? Uh, 1921 was when they started making it, but I believe they ended at 1941, and it could be throughout any of it. Well, that looks like a pretty nicely toasted piece of bread for yeah. a toaster from the 20s or 30s. Wow. I believe it's the first model. Andy has gone hunting at the farm with the same group of guys for over 30 years. A couple of years ago, the second generation started coming with them, and just last year, the third generation was born. This is only my second year being here on the bus, and this year, even more so than last year, I just try to pretend that I am not even here. Sunrise this morning is gorgeous, but it's hiding behind a wall of clouds. It's been cold since we got back to Minnesota. Very cold, like 20, 30 mile an hour winds down here. We're at the farm. Um, it's a little bright. I'll sit here in front of my pretty Diplodania that I got from one of the neighbors down here um, when Andy and I were over there taking some trees down. Well, Andy really did all the hard work taking the trees down. Um, but we were over there and isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. Bigger than I thought. Bigger than I anticipated when I actually physically saw it with my eyes sitting on the porch. And there's another one hiding there. And then there's a rosemary plant. And that is a house plant I got from my grandma. It's cold down here. It's been cold here for, well, pretty much since the day after we got here. It was nice the day we got here. It was, it's been cold ever since. 20, 30 mile an hour winds, sometimes higher than that, sometimes big gusts. Um, it's pretty normal down here. The area is just covered with windmills. Uh, don't know if you'll see that. If I'll show you that on the way out of here, I guess it depends on what the sky looks like. When Connor and I went through here last week on our way back up to the Twin Cities, it was so foggy you could only see like the first, oh, 10 feet or so, 8 to 10 feet of the pole of the pole of the windmill sticking up out of the ground it was very eerie because it just disappeared and you couldn't even see the blades as they went around it was so foggy it was crazy <clears throat> okay now you can see the red ones along there Those are all windmills. All those flashing lights are windmills. And all those bright white lights. Oh no, the ones here are gone. There were some right straight up in front of me. They're tractors. Farmland, USA.
careful, careful on the right. You're so low on the right. That makes me so nervous. Oh my God, that makes me so nervous. I know, it's fine, totally fine. There's not a culvert there. I don't have anything to worry about, but it still makes me nervous. It doesn't make him nervous at all. None of this shit makes him nervous. It terrifies the hell out of me. Want me to be totally honest with you? Completely real, 100%? I hate riding on the bus. It's terrifying. It never ceases to amaze me that there are just birds that big walking around on the ground. This year in Minnesota, we didn't have to work while we were there. This year we just did things. We were able to spend time with friends. I got to say goodbye to a very good friend. I got to go to Connor's local game store for a Magic the Gathering tournament. Somehow we ended up being in Minnesota at the same time as the grand opening of the new Toys R Us flagship store. I didn't even realize Toys R Us was opening. And I got to meet Jeffrey. I've always wanted to meet Jeffrey. We were able to have Thanksgiving at my parents' house with my sister and her family, but Allison was not able to make it because of work. So we drove down to Minneapolis that night and had dinner and dessert with the kids and Andy's parents. And although I don't have any pictures or videos of it, um, we were finally able to get my grandma onto the bus so that she could see it before we left. We've been trying since we got the bus, but timing just never worked out to get to her. And grandma's 96 years old, so I'm really glad that we were able to get her on the bus. This will be our last Minnesota sunrise for some time now. I like to say indefinitely because I genuinely have no idea when we're going to get back to Minnesota. We're going to be in Tennessee full time now. I don't know how frequently we'll be going back to Colorado. Oh, I should have put the reflectics in these windows last night. I didn't even think about it. Hopefully this is the last night we need anything like that either. So we're at Walmart and uh, 
I went inside for three things. Three things. How does a trip like this end up with $120 for three things? Oh, it's always a dangerous day when I go shopping by myself. Andy is definitely my restraint. It is so stinking cold right now. We finally made it out of Minnesota. We are in Iowa at a Walmart. I think I just said that already, but we finally made it out of Minnesota. We're in Iowa now, but oh, it has not gotten warmer. In fact, they have more snow down here than there was in the Twin Cities when we left. And I gotta say, I'm really ready for Tennessee. <laughs> I'm really ready for Tennessee. I could, I could do what? I said I'm really ready for Tennessee. I'm just cleaning out the van from uh, the trip back here. It's completely loaded with basically everything we needed in Colorado. We end up bringing everything back here. Normally we store, normally we store a vehicle with all this stuff in it. In Colorado, this year we brought it back. 